I'm gonna purchase 50 ships in Sea of Thieves. But why? So there's actually one milestone category that has fascinated me since captaincy was introduced into Sea of Thieves. The captain. This milestone tracks the amount of captain ships you own and will gain a level for each ship you purchase. Now, all of these milestone categories will provide your pirate with a legendary title once they reach class 50. And aside from the servant, because I'm an Athena simp, I've maxed these things out way beyond class 50. The captain milestone, however, sits at a surprisingly low class 8. This is because buying new ships requires your current ships to be of a legendary status. And to get a legendary ship means to get a milestone category on that ship to class 50. On top of that, ships are kind of expensive. And if you wanted to get to class 50 in the captain category of milestones, you'd need to spend a minimum of 12.5 million gold. Yeah, that's kind of spenny. Now, John Bardcord highlighted a pretty easy method to achieve a legendary ship status by simply eating 5,000 thousand bananas to reach class 50 in the hunter milestones. But I don't want to die of potassium poisoning. Doing that 45 times and eating 225,000 bananas just to reach class 50 in the captain category of milestones? No thank you. If I was going to purchase 50 ships, I was going to need a shortcut, but we'll get to that later. You see, this week has presented a very unique opportunity for me. In today's Tales of Getting Booty, subscribe. So Rare had announced a special event called Captain's Week, an event which had lowered the prices and milestone classes for all trinkets, offered players two new cutlasses, which suck, a new NFT table for players that had achieved the harder to grind milestones before the changes they'd implemented, and most importantly, a discount on all ships purchased. That's right, a sloop has gone down from 250,000 gold to a mere 100,000 gold, meaning that if I wanted to purchase 50 ships to reach class 50 in the captain milestones, it would only cost me 5 million gold, as opposed to the 12.5 million gold without the discount. Now, I already had 2.5 million gold, and only 5 days to raise another 2.5 million before the discount was removed. And so, with my friend Suki Demon Noises, we began to stack Ashen Gold Holder Vaults. We figured this was the fastest and safest way to earn money because, wow. First of all, the Devil's Roar is desolate of enemy players, and secondly, there's only two possible vault locations in the roar, meaning that stacking the vaults becomes super easy. All you have to do is watch out for erupting volcanoes. And lastly, these vaults churn out ashen loot, and if you didn't already know, ashen loot is worth way more gold than regular loot. And so, Suki and I stacked three vaults in the devil's roar, all at Fetch's rest, and had amounted 407 thousand gold. Not bad for our first run, but I was still 2.1 million gold away. However, during our entire time in the Roar, we had noticed a fort of the damned that had been active like four times. And well, you could practically see the dollar signs in my eyes. Now ironically, the moment we actually took interest in the Fort of the Damned stack was the moment they decided to stop stacking and sell, which resulted in us chasing them to Reaper's hideout and cutting them off, and forcing them to run into the Skelly fleet, and... Okay, I've got to get these chains. Pulling sail to sort of park us in front of them. Okay, there's two. Yeah. That's three masts. You are doing amazing. I'm going to put Jigball on them now. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. I'll send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think we I just stacked have... two of them, though. Oh, excellent work. We still <laughs> sailed down a little bit, so okay. we're still going to keep moving. I got back to. Yeah, okay. I ate that cannonball. And because of that, we were left in a pretty bad situation. But this was an easy reset for us. However, maybe you can notice something off with the game audio right now. Sure, you can hear the water coming in, but... There's about to be. I just heard a murm. Yeah. The wheel's broken right now. Yeah. You watch ladders? Oh. Nope, we just sunk. How? With no creaking. All right. Yeah, I didn't hear that. I would have come yeah. down to bucket like instantly. As I pulled out my bucket. So it turns out in a recent patch, there's a bug that can stop your ship from making a creaking sound while it's sinking. And that resulted in, yeah. Anyway, the galleons still had the reaper bounties on their ship, meaning we could still track them on the map. And they were at Daggertooth Outpost, most likely selling all of their loot aside from the reaper bounties. And so as we pulled up on the outpost. I'm gonna go over and be a problem. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah.
the lag right now from the treasure they have. Make sure you keep them off cannons. Yep, working on it. I'm fighting three of them up top right now. That's honestly huge. I got knocked off. The lag is crazy right now. I'm not like getting on cannon line. <laughs> Get off of cannons. No cannons. One dead. Huge. Anchor's down. Okay, I've got one on me right now. Oh, he's dead. Two dead. Uh, Third they, one's here. They, they're gone, but they're done. They're done? Huge. They're done. <laughs> well, at least we were able to take their stack of Reaper bounties, which generated a modest amount of gold, but I still needed 1.9 million gold to reach my goal before buying 50 ships. And so, meeting up with Suki once more, we stacked five more Ashen Vaults, which honestly is one of the funnest and chillest PvE experiences I've had in a while. I might be addicted. And in total, we generated a huge 1 million gold in that one session. We made a million gold! Hell yeah. That's f***ing cool. Five that vaults. That is wild. That's actually Hell yeah. f***ing cool. Yeah, I told you I was addicted to vaults, and with my friend Masayanta, we generated another 700,000 gold. I was just 60k away from my goal now, but I was going to need to play for one more session if I was going to purchase 50 ships and achieve my goal. 60,000 gold. That's all I needed to achieve my goal and buy 50 ships. And with the help of my friend Marixia, Oxy needs monkey. <laughs> we rushed toward a fort of fortune that had just that moment been completed. And Oh, there's another ship here. Oh, f okay. What the fuck is happening, dude? They're ramming. Okay, I'm gonna- Okay, so there were two ships at the fort. One had clearly tried to make a getaway with the chest of fortune, and the other, wow. We're friendly, please stop. We're f- <laughs> We're friendly. We're friendly, please stop. Anyway, we were convinced the white-sailed sloop had the chest of fortune, and so we began to chase them down, and- I got faster. Nice. I got them here, right? Yeah. Nice. That was from the skeleton. Okay. We're friendly. Please stop. I think he said they're sank, so... Yeah, yeah. Oh, did that go too high? Yeah. That was my last chain as well. I'm going over. Okay. Friendly. <laughs> Runly, please stop. <laughs> Anchored. You're such a gamer. He's dead. He's yes. got the chest as well. <laughs> yes! Sir. He he he. Get it, get over here. He he he. Toxy Sinclair. Well, that's a whole Fort of Fortune's worth of loot for us. Plus a gold hoarder vault secured too. Oh my god, there's like a vault here too. Really? Yeah, 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 on this robo. Just, um, pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> I swear Marixia put me up to that. I'm glad that you came around to the dark side. <laughs> what do you mean? Because <laughs> it was my idea initially, and I'm glad that you changed your heart. Anyway, with that, I'd reached my goal of 5 million gold, and could finally achieve a class 50 in the captain category of milestones. So, the shortcut to bypassing a legendary ship per ship purchase that will allow me to buy 50 ships is actually so obvious when you think about it. Now, the milestone specifically tracks the ships you have owned in total, and not at one time. I'd figured this out when I wanted to rename a ship but didn't want to buy a renaming deed for five whole pounds. So instead, I would dismantle the ship, which would allow me to purchase a new ship of the same size once again and use a different name, which would also count toward the Captain Milestone. With this in mind, we can purchase a ship at the current discounted price, load into a server with it to track the milestone, then leave the server, dismantle the ship and purchase a new one. This was the key to becoming class 50 in the Captain, along with obtaining the cherished versions of each ship's trinkets, which which are unlocked at class 5 for each ship size. Now, upon owning 15 ships, we were granted the title Fleet Master, but as I pointed out at the beginning of the video, every milestone
milestone category has a legendary title at class 50, and I wanted whatever title this category would give me at class 50. And so I repeated the cycle of purchasing, loading in, dismantling over and over again. But on my 11th ship purchase, I realized I'd actually owned 19 ships in total, due to what I had mentioned earlier about renaming ships. And because of that, I was actually a little closer to my goal of 50 ships owned in total. But anyway, with that, I continued the cycle of purchasing and dismantling ships, inching closer and closer to the goal of 50 owned in total. I was so close I could practically taste whatever reward I was about to unlock, until I reached 45 in total. Now, considering I needed to have 5 million gold to purchase 50 ships, I actually had a little excess gold due to the realization I had about already owning 7 ships prior to starting. This would allow me to complete the 5 ships owned milestones for both the Brigantine and Galleon due to their significant discount. And the final step, the last ship to purchase, my new Galleon, and a class 50 achieved in the Captain Milestone. I had done it, and now my reward, my new legendary title? Or not? Wait, are you telling me every single milestone category has a legendary title at class 50, except for the captain? Well, that's disappointing. And if you'd like to see me explore more pirate science where we discover the secret to megalodon spawns, and we actually discover it by the way, then have a look at this video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, damn.